Hi, this is a tutorial on how to create test strips in Lightroom for an inkjet printer. And what we want to do is get into the print module. And we want to check our layout style. It's going to be a custom package. We're not going to use any image settings. I'm checking off all of my rulers and guides and I'm also trying to snap to a grid. I'm not adding any cells right now and I'm going to make sure that this is not locked, my aspect ratio. I'm not using any identity plates or watermarks in a test strip. In a print job, in a print to the printer. You can use print sharpening, that's fine. Don't, you don't have to use print resolution unless you've set up your resolution in Photoshop or something like that. You'll let them figure that out for you. In fact, you don't have to use it if you're not thinking about it. And the print adjustment is probably what you're going to be test stripping the most. Um, for me, I like to get this figured out here just to check the um, difference between projected light and reflected light and make sure you're using the exact print paper that you would use in your final print and you're going to use the same profiles and you're going to have Lightroom control that so we'll go to page setup make sure you have the right printer selected, the right size yes this is probably different on a Mac but um, all these settings are available. And uh, we're going to check the um, color management is off. We're going to be printing color, glossy paper, and all that's right. Okay. And okay. Next, we have to put a picture into our cell. And I'm going to press Shift to maintain the aspect ratio. And drag this out to the approximate size that I want to be printing at. Probably never print this big on an 8.5 by 11 sheet, but some of you may print full bleed, so if that's how you normally print, make it that big. Okay, now that I have my picture on here, I'm going to not press shift and grab the side and bring it down to test strip size. For me, that's going to be about two inches. And then I'm going to take this, just click it and drag it over. I don't want to move it up and down though. To the edge. That creates my first test strip cell. Cell, excuse me, my throat is killing me. I'm going to press Alt and make copies of these as I drag them. Okay, there's my test strips. Now, I'm not going to create a saved print because that would associate that picture with this forever. I just want to make a browse, uh, a template. It's going to add this. We're going to call it in a half by 11 horizontal test strip. And we'll create it. Now we have to find it. There it is. We'll click it. It'll get rid of the images. Now we're going to print the test strip. So we just take that image and we put it in our first block. Cell. We press control and we move it to where we want to, to test it. Just like in the darkroom, you're only going to test the area that you really appreciate or you want to make sure your contrasts are right or, or whatever you want to do with it. Now you could just select print one because you already did your page setup and you'll have your test strip printed or you could add multiples say you were all set you could do more than one but it, it, it 
it's odd because you you know you unless you're testing all your brightnesses and all your contrasts at once it's kind of strange so I like to do one at a time and that's basically it and uh, the best part about this is every time you use this template and you just maintain these cells you're not going to overprint as long as you make sure you put paper in the exact same way every time and you you want to use the uh, a manual you know a manual feed part of your printer you're not going to get overlaps the page is going to be automatically detected by your printer and Lightroom is going to maintain these ratios so you won't have any overlapping with your ink or anything like that and if like the second image the second time you print it is a problem for you you can just take a piece of paper and you know cover up the first image so it's not interfering with what you're trying to do. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.